Uh, my name is Allie McDonald, and I'm a teacher at PWK High School in Fort Smith. Can you tell me a little bit about your program? Um, so the program that we run for grade 7 and 8 students is called the Sweetgrass Culture Camp. Um, it's at the beginning of each school year, and it's a mandatory trip for all grade 7 and 8 students. Um, it's supported by our school board so that it can be um, mandatory because we teach various um, curricular outcomes while we're out there, as well as incorporating the Dene Kade curriculum. What are some examples of the activities that you teach out there? We have a partnership with Parks Canada, so lots of the programming that we do while we are out at Sweetgrass is with Parks. Some of the programming that we would do include learning how to use a compass, canoe safety, team building. We also have a partnership with the Roberta Bondar Foundation. They come out and do the uh, Roberta Bondar Photo Challenge. We also have our elders that come out and teach our students about traditional medicines and how to live off the land and various survival skills that could be useful for them if they are in the bush in the future. How do you measure the success of your program? Our success, I think, is measured by the number of students that we have participate in the program each year. Our groups can be as big as 35 students and um, I think that one of the ways that we can measure the success is how the community knows about our program and continues to support it uh, through the various community partnerships that we have established already and the new ones that we form uh, as the camp grows in success. And so can you tell me what Indigenous education means to you? To me, Indigenous education means being knowledgeable about the community and the people that you are in and participating in or surrounded by. For us, we uh, incorporate the we try to incorporate the language as much as possible. We have both Chip and Cree speakers out on the land with us who try and incorporate the language aspect of Indigenous education, as well as. Um, the various elders that we have just sharing their knowledge and sharing what sweetgrass means to Fort Smith and how so many different members of our community have connections to the land and connections to sweetgrass and Wood Buffalo National Park in general. So just making our students aware that they too have those connections and that they might uh, be more connected than they think. Where would you hope to see Indigenous education go in the next 10 years? I hope to see more camps like Sweetgrass. Um, I think that my vision would be to have all of our camps be mandatory programs. Right now, Sweetgrass is the only one that is mandatory at our school, so we get large numbers for our grade seven and eight Sweetgrass trip. Um, however, I'd like to see more emphasis put on um, our culture camps at the secondary level and that our high school students become more involved in uh, their own um, personal culture and just having them more involved in the learning of the younger generations to kind of feed it down the line.